Yo, you must be wondering why I'm looking at this tree. I'm looking for a reishi that I found before while walking in the park. I'm Barris. I'm the owner of Lifecap Farms in Jersey City. Where is this reishi? We grow local gourmet mushrooms. These mushrooms are a bit different than your typical portobello or your abibella or your cremini. Uh, it's not an agaricus species. These are wood-loving mushrooms. They're grown differently, they're organic, and they're super, super fresh. So how this all began, I went to school for finance and the first day I walked into the job in corporate, I looked at the cube and said, oh my God, this is what I've been working so hard for. This is going to be the rest of my life. So I decided to leave. I had a goal of seeing the world. Brought my bass guitar and decided to record music in each of the countries I was going to visit. When I was in these different countries was I was always embedding myself in places that weren't touristic. It was all about community. And that community element was what I was missing here at home. And I realized that farming and community goes so hand in hand because food brings us together. This three trifecta group, community, food, and the arts, was the reason why I got into this space in the first place, and it's the reason why I came to Jersey City. Because Jersey City has all of this. It's just missing the farming element. It begins by procuring the best organic raw materials. You combine all the recipes together, put them into these biodegradable bags, cook them really high, kill off the bacteria. We then go to the lab and we put the spores of those mushrooms we want to grow into these bags of food. We seal them, put them into an incubation room in the dark where they can eat through that food. And once the time is right, we bring them into the grow room, nice little slit, and we put it into the proper condition for these mushrooms to fruit. Once the mushrooms are fully matured in our grow room, then it's time for the picking and harvesting. We harvest the mushrooms, pull from the block, clean the mushrooms themselves so they're ready for use, pack them into the boxes and they're ready to go. turkey for like three months and be like all right here go handle my business while I'm out you know you're like 18 and you're trying to figure out how to move this huge van you're shipping a lot of things and that's where it started building up for me in terms of being like super focused on the customer um, and he knew everything about his customer like what time do they want the delivery how do they want it um, it'd be funny if I come back from turkey and Check it, check about me, and, or he called me while he's in Turkey and figure out what's going on, what customers I ruined, or what, what happened, right? But you learn through that, and um, it's funny because now he's working for me. İşi muhafaza olacağını tahmin ediyorum. Çünkü bu kadar büyük işini de bırakmazdı. Çok iyi bir işi vardı. Fakat bunu yapacağım diyor. Başrum delivery yapmayı çok seviyorum. Hem benim için bir iş oluyor, hem exercise oluyor. İyi oluyor benim için. Hem de Barış'a yardım etmiş oluyorum. Hello Hi. sir. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Hi, sir. Thank you. Fantastic. You know, I've been buying mushrooms as a chef for um, over a decade, um, close to two now, and these mushrooms coming. Um, not only from around the corner, it's, it's such a coincidence that the best mushrooms we buy are, are produced here in the Heights. I mean, looks are all, always the immediate thing with any product, and that is one thing about these mushrooms is they always look great and they, it's consistent. Their quality is like always very consistent. I've never seen anything uh, look rough, as it would say. They're always fresh and very healthy looking. They're not overly dry, they're not coming in wet they're always like in the perfect condition that you would want a mushroom like and I did, you don't even need to like be a mycologist or a chef to tell you know that that just looks like a healthy organism you know and it's like exactly what where you want it to be 
the depth and the varieties and the way in which they evolve with the climate, um, you know, it impacts every aspect of the way we use them in the kitchen. Uh, they, they find harmony with the other ingredients in a way that, um, you know, some of the commodity mushrooms that are so prevalent just can't deliver. Not only are we purchasing local, but the mission at LifeCap Farms is just in line with our ideals here at Corto. Barris is able to continually give back to uh, the community in a sustainable growing manner. So our compost program right now, it's going out to gardens. It's going out to different individuals that want to supplement the garden beds with a nice amendment. One of the gardens that takes in our compost is Riverview Gardens. It's been great working with them. They use that compost and amend it in their soil as well. Compost is made of browns and greens. Greens are the food scraps that people drop off in front of the garden. Browns are kind of hard to come by. Usually we take dead leaves during the fall. That doesn't help us for the rest of the year, so we tried to get creative in other ways we could source browns. Now the process is so much easier. We just, if we're running low on browns, I give Barris a call. We set up a date for us to come down to LifeCap and pick some up, and you know, that's all it takes. I also see this as use for our own garden beds that in the future may have on a roof. Sustainability to me is absolutely important. It's something that you constantly look at and say, how can I do this better? So the more we learn, the more we do, the better we become at it. It's, it's critical for us, but I also know that as soon as you pull it out of the ground, it's already creating an impact. So how can you limit that? The thing that I look forward to the most? It's so hard to answer that question, do you know that? I thought I was going to be excited when I had the grow room working. I thought I was going to be excited when I had the lab working. I thought I was going to be excited when I was going to get my first customer. I thought I was excited when I was going to pay for my rent. I thought I was gonna, like, it keeps on coming. But I've been jaded enough times to know that I have to have the excitement now. I have to be here now. Everything happening all at once is a miracle to me. I'm good. I'm happy learning. I'm happy growing. I don't know where this, this is going to take us, but I know I'm heading in the right direction.